Welcome to another episode of Terror TV. I'm Peyton Miller. Peyton is back with another senior spotlight. Let's see what questions he asked our Terrier seniors this week. What's your name? Devin Colgan. And who's your favorite teacher and why? Mr. Plyman, he's a true inspiration to all his students and I know he's been there for all of us all the time and he works way too hard for him not to get recognition. What's your name? My name is Jillian Stewart. And what's your favorite type of dog breed and why? It would have to be a Labrador Retriever because my dog, who was one, passed away last year and it just kept on me ever since. What's your name? Brooke Wimmer. And what's your favorite place to go with friends and why? Probably the mall. Um, there's a lot to do there, you know, a bunch of different stores, places to eat and all that good stuff. The Tubbs record will quickly cut down and we have our final teachers. Here's your final bracket. Now scan the QR code to vote in the final bracket. If you are interested in the Carilion Clinic Summer Internships for High School Students, today is the last day to apply. Go to the William Byrd High School webpage and click on today's announcements to find the application links. Virginia Western will be coming back on April 18th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. If you need help with the next steps, applying for scholarships, or questions about financial aid, they can assist with that too. Please go down to the guidance office and see Ms. Booth to sign up. Limited time slots are available. Do you like dancing and performing? Our marching band's color guard might be right for you. Color guards or flag corps are teams of, of performers who perform choreographed dances and routines with various equipment to enhance the music of, of our marching band halftime show. We use various equipment including flags, fake wooden or plastic rifles and sabers along with other props. Our color tryouts will begin next week, Monday, April 15th through Friday, April 19th from 3.40 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. in the band room beside the cafeteria. No experience is necessary. We will teach you all you need to know and all are welcome to attend. Please see Mr. Plyman in the band room if you have any questions. I'm Tammy Newcomb. Yeah, I graduated from here. I graduated from here in 1986. Um, my grandfather was a student in the early in the 30s, and then um, of course me and my sister and my brother we all came through here, and then my children have come through here. I've had two daughters come through Lambert and graduate. I've had two nieces graduate recently from Lambert High School, and I currently have um, cousins who are here going through. So pretty pretty long you know, family tradition to come to Lambert High School. I had great memories of high school. Um, the camaraderie, the, the fun times with athletics, and I was in the band. Um, I really got involved in everything. Um, I was SCA president my senior year. I was always involved in prom decorations, going to the dances. Um, we used to all as a group, you know, after football games or after any type of event that we had, we'd all meet over in the Kroger parking lot which was pretty cool. That was our hangout place and everyone was just friendly to everybody. You're from a small town like Benton and you'll run into someone from the area and they'll say, well, where'd you go to school? Well, they don't mean what college you went to, they mean what high school you went to. And so when you say William Byrd, um, well, what class were you? I was this class. And because we have traditions that are still happening right now that happened when I was in school and, and even prior to that when my sister was in school. Attention juniors and seniors, prom guest approval forms are now available in the main office on Blackboard under WBHS Junior Class or WBHS Senior Class organizations and outside the library. All forms are due no later than May 2nd. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Farrington in the library. 
Here are your upcoming athletic events. Congratulations to the ladies tennis team on their 9-0 win versus William Fleming. The win brings their record to 4-2 and on the year. They travel to Hollins College today to take on Lord Botetot. Go Terriers! Attention seniors, photographers from Life Touch will be in the auditorium to take cap and gown pictures for anyone interested on April 25th. You will not need to bring anything. Photographers will have caps and gowns for you to wear. Please sign up outside Mrs. Acker's room 267 as soon as possible for an appointment time. Attention juniors, today is the last day to nominate juniors for top terriers and dog pound leaders. Teachers, at this time, if you teach any juniors, please allow them time to log into their WBHS junior class blackboard organization space to nominate a junior for the 2024-2025 top terrier and dog pound leaders. The nominations forms will close at the end of the day. Congratulations to Chloe Hart for correctly guessing secret sound number 11, somebody flipping through a book. Please see Mrs. Farrington in the library to collect your prize. Here's another chance to win a prize with secret sound number 12. Don't forget to scan the QR code to enter your guess for a chance to win. Be as specific as possible in your guess. Mallory is a sophomore who was nominated for her kindness and positivity. The teacher who nominated Mallory said she is an absolute joy to have in class. She comes in every day with a smile on her face and is truly just a joy to be around. Congratulations to Terry of the Month, Mallory Parolas. Caleb is a sophomore nominated for his contributions to classroom discussion and for being respectful to students and staff. The teacher who nominated Caleb said he is an excellent student who is very respectful. He takes the time to submit quality work often above my expectations. Congratulations to Terrier of the Month, Caleb Brunk. 
Ryan is a junior who was nominated for his worth ethic, willingness to help others, and academic growth he has made this school year. The teacher that nominated Ryan said he is a kind, hardworking young man who is always willing to help out in class and is constantly looking for extra projects to do. I greatly appreciate the leadership and hard work that Ryan has done in the shop this year. Congratulations to Terrier of the Month, Ryan Mills. Raylan is a junior and member of the girls' varsity volleyball and soccer teams. Raylan was nominated for consistently following the Terrier way. The staff member who nominated Raylan said, I always see this student following the Terrier way. I noticed that she is always willing to help her fellow Terriers, both students and staff. Congratulations to Terrier of the Month, Raylan Lancaster. Mrs. Stover serves as a co-teacher for English 11 and a special education case manager. The students who nominated her highlighted her kind and supportive personality. As one student said, she helps you whenever you need it. She always ensures you're okay. As another student said, she is always so nice and goes out of her way to make people smile. Thank you to Mrs. Stover and congratulations for being recognized as Terrier of a Month. Officer Runyon is our school resource officer. The students have nominated him highlighted his ability to make the school safe and fun. As one student said, he's always smiling and nice to everyone, and most importantly, he keeps our school safe. Thank you to Officer Runyon, and congratulations for being recognized as Terrier of the Month. If you have any ideas for future segments, contact Mrs. Farrington in the library or a Terrier TV staff member. That wraps up today's episode of Terrier TV. See you all next week. Some people make you better. And then there's you. I guess it is what it is. Wrong place, wrong time.